Yeah. So now we are live and we are waiting for people to join in. Sure. So now from this, uh, the video will get recorded and uploaded when it, the session is done. Once it will be live, just give me the link so that I can post it further. Yes, absolutely. Waiting for people to join in. <laughs> it's uh, exactly 4, 3 p.m. And uh, yeah, we have two people right now who have joined in. Hope these are people. not time in you and me. No, no, no. We are not shown in the viewership. Okay. Waiting for more people. All right, we have five people now. Hi to everyone who has joined in. We are waiting for a few more people to join before we can start. So please bear with us. So, so when did you exactly start this, started this series? Um, I started this three to four months back. I have had seven live sessions till now. With you, I'm doing the eighth one today. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because I could not move around for making videos, which I was doing previously. And uh, it's been a year since I haven't made any videos outside of home. So I thought that the best way to make videos and collaborate with bakers is to do it uh, in a remote space by going live. So that is okay. how I came up with it. And uh, three to four months back, we got uh, many bakers for this live session. <laughs> it's a wonderful initiative. Um... Yeah. <laughs> So what about uh, you? How is the group going? How is your blog going? I see a lot of, you know, recipes from your end, especially on uh, Instagram. Now I'm following you on Instagram. And uh, I saw the Rosette Cookies video. Yes, it yeah. uh, posted. I mean, we posted it on uh, every Friday. There's a new recipe on my blog and on my YouTube, as well as on Facebook. And every Sunday, that recipe is on my, live on my Instagram. So this is how every every week the uh, people get one new recipe on my channel. Oh, so. oh lovely, lovely. So every Friday and is the day. Nice. Yes. For my blog and for my YouTube, it's Friday. For my Instagram, it's Sunday. Oh, lovely. So today is another video yes. on Instagram. Yes. By 6 p.m., you will get a video on my Instagram. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Very good. It's nice to have a schedule Then people are aware that, you know, uh, this is when we can expect some new content from this creator, which is amazing. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So if there's any delay, maybe of uh, half an hour, then generally I get messages, okay, so what about today's recipe? <laughs> so now people keep waiting. Yeah, yeah. Because people are waiting for you to, you know, upload something new, which is great. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so we have 16 people now. We'll just wait okay. for it to become 20 before we start. Okay. Okay. And in between also, people will keep joining and uh, they can, you know, ask queries if they have any. So hi to everyone who has joined. You can post in the comments. You can write if you have any queries already or if you can write, um, you know, a hi or who you are and whether you're baking along or you're just watching the session today. What are your expectations and yeah so start with the comments guys and then we'll start with the introduction in another three to four minutes all right we have 17 people i guess you already shared the ingredient list and so people if they want to try the recipe they can bake along yeah 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 i saw some people where uh, you know, they messaged me on Instagram saying that they are uh, going to bake along and that they are ready with the ingredients and everything. So I hope that they have joined the session uh, right now. Yeah. If people bake along, that would be great because later they can share their creations with us and uh, tell us what they learned from the session. And if All they right. are baking, then please uh, don't uh, miss to post it in, the, in my group as well so that I can yes. actually, I mean, I can directly check them. Absolutely, absolutely. Anybody who is baking along and learns any uh, whatever from this session, 
posted on the anybody can wake by sonia gupta group on facebook all the links will be posted after the video is uploaded on the youtube channel so you can just click on that and post your creations there and also obviously if you post on instagram tag sonia and tag rasoisa guys all right so we have 20 people now who have joined us for the live session we are expecting more people to come in but we'll start with it because uh, this session is also getting recorded and we don't want to uh, waste anybody else's time uh a quest boy says hi so hello uh all right so hi everyone welcome to today's live session on rasoi saga today we have a well known and amazing baker and she has recently shifted to panchkula uh, her name is sonia gupta i'm sure you all have come here uh, hoping to get some knowledge from her like i do uh, on her facebook group and as well as her blog she is known by her blog anybody can bake.com which is among one of pune's top 5 blogs and globally it is uh, the top 10 blogs in eggless baking uh, sounds amazing right so now we are very happy that she is doing a session with us we have been wanting to do a session with sonia gupta for a while and since she was in the shifting process we could not uh, you know collaborate but today we are very happy that she's teaching us the recipe of whole wheat pizza without yeast and excited to learn from you sonia what do you have to say thank you so much pratibha and i'm i'm overwhelmed with the introduction that you have given so uh, yes guys the today's recipe is going to be whole wheat pizza and uh, we are going to bake this recipe without yeast and uh, the purpose of using uh, this particular recipe because there are many people who cannot consume yeast i mean there can be uh, lifestyle issues there can be uh, religious purpose, uh, reasons behind that and there are people who are allergic to yeast so uh, when the obviously they they also feel tempted to eat pizza or bread so everything is possible without yeast as well so that's why i thought okay let's make something for them also so that they can uh, try this recipe and can consume it and uh, as pratibha said uh, when we had a conversation then pratibha said okay ma'am choose something that should be a healthy because that is the only thing that i'm promoting her. and my blog and i also advocate uh, whole wheat baking only so that is the reason of choosing whole wheat pizza okay the ingredient list pratibha has already shared but uh, let me repeat the ingredient list again uh, uh, can i take the camera to the kitchen so that we can uh, show absolutely. the ingredient and then start the recipe okay absolutely so bear with me that. two minutes sure. sure no problem hi to everyone hi to pratibha hi to devat hi to apeksha hi to santha hi to pratibha again says that I am one of your student from DTD course. I love your classes. You are an amazing teacher. Definitely. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Okay. Hi, so just Amis give me sure. one minute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. No problem. So Sonia will now be sharing the ingredients. The list was already shared, guys, but now she will um, show us the ingredients that she has arranged for the session. Okay. So here we have all the ingredients. Pratibha, just tell me if it is clear, clearly visible. Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay. So here I have 125 gram whole wheat flour, 2 tablespoons of uh, homemade curd. It should not be, I mean, uh, uh, too thick. So I have taken 2 uh, tablespoons of it. Okay. 80 ml water some grated cheese. Uh, here I have taken two tablespoon of uh, pizza sauce. This is my homemade pizza sauce. And if you want to try this recipe, the recipe is already there on my blog, anybody can bake, uh, dot com. So you can check the recipe and try that. Otherwise you can use the homemade pizza sauce as well. So this is baking soda we will be using because this is a no yeast recipe, but uh, to make anything and specifically bread, we need any kind of leavening agent. And for this recipe, it's going to be baking soda. And one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use refined oil as well, but I prefer using olive oil for my breads. So that's the reason of using olive oil. Okay, so now we are going to start the recipe. All right. Along with all these ingredients, we need half teaspoon salt. That's it. We don't need sugar 
or any kind of sweetener in this recipe. So if even people who are diabetic, they can have this uh, pizza. Because in sauce, I have not added any kind of sugar. And in base, also, we are not going to use any sweetener. That's amazing. All right, so whoever is asking for the measurement, Sonia ma'am just uh, told you guys the measurement of all the ingredients. And uh, yeah, so baking soda, how much? Somebody is asking baking soda. Okay, I'm going to repeat uh, all the ingredients again. Just have a look. This is 125 gram whole wheat flour. To this, I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt. And half teaspoon of baking soda. This is half teaspoon. Of. Right. That's it. Okay. So these are the two ingredients we have added to the flour. Now along with all this, I'm going to add two tablespoon of homemade curd. Using a spoon, I will start mixing everything. In recipe card, I have mentioned 80 ml water, but don't add the entire amount in one go. So add little by little. That will be the, that will make easy for you to handle the dough. In case the uh, uh, weather is uh, dry, then you may need extra water. So just keep adding water and make a soft dough. This recipe Wait. doesn't need too much of kneading. We need just soft dough like chapati. Whoever is baking along, Sonia has taken the whole wheat flour, 125 grams. She has added the salt, which is half teaspoon, half teaspoon of baking soda and two tablespoon of curd. And now she's kneading it into a soft dough. Please follow so you can the knead steps. it with hand. Yeah, sorry. Just bind it. It should not be too sticky, otherwise, it will be difficult to roll it. And this dough doesn't need any resting or anything. No kneading, no resting. It's immediate pizza actually. The dough is, we have binded the dough. Now I'm going to add olive oil. So I'm taking one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use melted butter as well. In case you don't want to use refined oil or olive oil, you can use melted butter in the same amount. So this is how the dough will look like. Okay. Now we will start shaping. See, it's so quick recipe. We can immediately start our pizza. Just, just the counter. Take the dough one. Just. Knead it for one minute so that dough looks like a smooth ball. Is it visible to all? Yes, yes, it's completely visible. Okay. So now I'm going to roll it into a circular disc with thickness half inch. All right. That was a very quick way to do a pizza dough. Exactly. So whenever you feel tempted to have pizza, you don't need to I mean, wait or order. You can have it <laughs> immediately. I mean, yeah, within half absolutely. an hour, within mm -hmm. half an hour, your pizza will be ready. Wow. I have to try this. Okay. Yes. I have rolled it into a circular disc with thickness is almost half inch. Uh, yes, Isha, the video will be available after the live. It will be on my YouTube channel, Rasoi Saga. So please tune in. 
and you can watch the recorded video. It will be up by tonight. Okay, so I have transferred the two on a parchment paper, and now I'm using the fork to prick it. Otherwise, it will puff up. So it's very important to prick it. Okay, so if you don't want to make pizza immediately, I mean with all the toppings, so you can prick it and bake it for 8 to 10 minutes and your base will be ready and later on you can use it. Okay, so this is a trick to make the base without yeast. But because we are going to bake complete pizza, so I'm going to apply pizza sauce now. Whoever wants this homemade pizza sauce recipe, please visit Sonia's blog, anybodycanbake.com and get the recipe from there. Okay. Now, uh, vegetables is uh, totally up to you because uh, at my place, my son is going to eat it. So, I'm adding uh, vegetables according to him. Onion. Some capsicum. From roughly chopped tomato. Okay, so yeah, there's no need to cook the vegetables separately because while baking, these will get roasted uh, in the oven and this will be ready to consume them. Wow. After adding vegetables, just top it with cheese. I'm using a combination of mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Uh, now, you can use any of these. If you don't like uh, chewiness, then you should go for only mozzarella. Okay, just give me some. So this is how our pizza is ready to go inside the oven. Hold it. Sorry for the noise. Yes, Amish, you will get the baking have, details in a while. So I have already prepared a ba uh, pizza same way. So I am just going to keep it in the oven and taking uh, taking that out. Okay, that's all. That is too hot. That is too hot. Let me take. I am going to bake this pizza in a preheated oven at two hundred degrees Celsius for fifteen minutes. Okay, two hundred degrees just in a preheated oven for fifteen minutes. Yes, for fifteen. And this is what I have just taken out from the oven. Wow, it's too hot. That looks so this amazing. Is how now look at the base. It's crusty, crispy. You can hear the noise. No, no. That, yeah. <laughs> that knocking sound. So see, within fifth, within thirty minutes, I mean, uh, preparing the dough, adding the topping, and fifteen minutes of baking. Within thirty minutes, our pizza is ready. Wow, Let that was very quick. <laughs> yes. Oh, lovely, lovely. Let me size it up. Thank you, Isha. It does look beautiful and colorful. Completely agree with you. Yes, a big shot looks very tempting. I want to have a piece. Not even joking about that. Thank you, Amish. <laughs> to try the recipe. It's too hot actually. I'm unable to lift it properly, but this is how it is. Wow, looks amazing actually. Yes, and it doesn't look like that you have not used yeast or anything. It's yeah, whole wheat yeah. and without yeast. Lovely, lovely, absolutely. Everybody in the comment section agrees with me when I say that it's very tempting and lovely. Okay. Okay, Pratibha. So, should I uh, move the camera or you still want to have a look on the pizza? <laughs> I don't mind it at all. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> sure people might have questions because everybody right now is just drooling uh, on the live session. And I'm sure 
that they want to bake it i think i'm going to bake it tonight because it looks very simple and delicious the best part exactly. about this recipe Lovely. so whenever my son demands pizza so within 30 minutes this pizza will, uh, is ready so this is how i prepare <laughs> wow wow thank you pradeepa do try it and post your creations on anybody can bake by sonia gupta group on facebook uh so that uh, sonia ma'am can take a look at it immediately i'm sure you guys will do a good job with it thank you deepthi thank you amish do try it absolutely must try the recipe now uh if you guys have any doubts or any comments please write it in the comment section and we are here for another 5 to 8 minutes and then we can you know uh, take forward your questions yes absolutely i guess i mean the yeah. the recipe is so simple and quick there should not be any doubts but uh, if you have any doubts guys you can ask it uh, right now or even if that you have any doubt or queries later on then you can post your queries and anybody can bake by sonia gupta group so i will be happy to answer absolutely absolutely if you guys have any doubts just let us know and we have 40 people watching right now and we are so glad that all of you have joined and watched this session i am super excited to try the pizza i am going to share it on the abcb group this week for sure and yeah i have tried sonia ma'am's no east bake pizza uh, says isha amazing okay uh there are questions about the pizza sauce uh, but ma'am has already mentioned that it is on her blog yes if you want to have the recipe just go to anybodycanbake.com and in the search box just type pizza sauce recipe you will get the entire pizza sauce recipe in the, i mean with uh, deta uh, details written on it do's and don'ts and uh, step by step pictures as well lovely lovely so please go visit that guys i can see many comments on the pizza sauce so go and visit the blog and then uh, take the recipe from there and yeah yes do try it thank you deepthi and if anybody here was baking along and if your pizzas are in the oven right now or you are in the middle of the process please do uh, share your pictures whenever possible so yeah thank you isha thank you for joining the session and i hope uh, the setting oven settings are clear so uh, after shaping the, let me reiterate the process so we just added a uh, uh, salt baking soda curd and water to make the dough and then we added uh, olive oil at the last as a last step and then that the dough, dough was ready uh, once the dough was ready we uh, shaped it into a circular disc uh, approximately 8 inches uh, in diameter and a uh, half inch in thickness and then we pricked it with using a fork so that it doesn't puff up in the oven we applied pizza sauce added toppings i mean vegetables you can use any if, if you are comfortable with the, any kind of i mean chicken or sausages you can add uh, as per your choice and then add a uh, cheese and then bake it in a preheated oven at 200 degrees celsius for approximately 15 minutes that's it lovely lovely sounds great kajal says hi Hi, Apesha, Kajal. Thanks for quick recipe. Thank you for joining. Somebody is asking if they can make ladi pav with this recipe. Ah, uh, not exactly. This recipe will work, work but ah, uh, rather than saying no, I would say try it and share that result with me. <laughs> yes, baking is a lot of experiment, and I'm sure ah, exactly. uh, ma'am agrees with me. And yeah, somebody is asking, can we make this without oven? absolutely just place after shaping a pizza place it on a tray or a plate and then uh, the way we bake our cakes in our kadhai just bake this pizza okay lovely lovely so you can bake it without oven without yeast you can make amazing pizza at home without using any maida without using any sugar without using any you know uh, oven also so very very impressed with the recipe and i am shocked at how quickly <laughs> the pizza was done right in front of my eyes <laughs> and yeah so see so the pizza that we kept uh, after shaping i mean during the process that is almost done i mean in another 5 minutes that will be out of the oven so you have to <laughs> so my family is now have this in <laughs> yes lovely <laughs> yes yes 
Kajal says Sonia is best teacher for eggless baking. Thank you so okay. much, Kajal. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining this session. If you have any more comments or doubts, uh, you can write it directly on the ABCB group on Facebook. And whenever Sonia gets the time, she'll answer it to you. And there are requests for recipes. Purnima says, please teach us yeast free bread too. Okay. <laughs> noted. All the things are getting noted now. And uh, yes, thank you, Pratiba, for joining this session. And if any of you were baking along, let us know your results. And if you have any doubts, directly write it on the group or and do check out the blog anybodycanbake.com. And thank you, yes. Deepthi, if you, for joining. Yeah. If you're serious yeah. about baking and you want to learn, uh, try new recipes, then just go to my blog, go to my YouTube, and you can subscribe to my channel. I mean, YouTube channel that is Anybody Can Bake. Uh, because every Friday, as I already shared, that every Friday I share a new recipe and I only bake eggless. So, you don't have to take attention that what is going to be the egg replacer or water. So just yeah. try, uh, try those recipes. Those are my all my tried and tested recipes. Lovely, lovely. You must visit Sonia Ma'am's blog. I take a lot of inspiration from the blog and I have adopted many recipes from there. So yeah, uh, okay, there are two more questions. How can we store pizza base for later use? Okay. Uh, so after baking the pizza base, I mean without toppings, uh, let it cool down. Once it comes to room temperature, just cover it into a cling wrap or maybe in a ziplock. Store it on counter that stays good uh, uh, for uh, two days on counter. Otherwise, store it in refrigerator that will stay good for four days. Okay, okay, that's great. Another recipe request for lava cake. <laughs> okay. For this, you need to subscribe to my channel because that recipe <laughs> is already in the pipeline. <laughs> oh, lovely, you lovely. Yes. Please do go subscribe to Ma'am's channel. She has an amazing YouTube channel. I think most of you guys know about the blog and the group. Uh, and you guys also need to subscribe to her channel and see her Instagram. So who all have, anybody who has joined today for the session, uh, many of you have questions whether the video will be available later or not. I have specified earlier, yes, it will be available. By tonight, it will be uploaded on the YouTube channel. This entire session will be on my YouTube channel, Rasoi Saga. And you can go and watch it. And in the description, you will get the links for all the, uh, the you know, all uh, Sonia Ma'am's blog and channel and Instagram and Facebook group and all of that. Those links will be there. So share your creations there and ask doubts there whenever you have them. So yeah, that is uh, answering a lot more questions, which I'm not putting up on the screen right now. And yeah, thank you so much, Sonia, for joining the session today. It was an absolute My pleasure. pleasure. My pleasure, Prat Pratiba. Okay, take care. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. Enjoy the pizzas while we dream about yes. this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bye. you. This was such a fun session. Pleasure having you. Bye. Same. Take care. Thank you, everyone, for joining the session. It was an absolute pleasure uh, being here with you all. If you are baking along, kindly share your creations with me on my Instagram page, Rasoi Saga. We are happy to take up any queries uh, that you have after the session. And yeah, keep keep uh, watching the videos for more and be subscribed to my youtube channel we put up healthy recipes every week whether it be baking or cooking and yeah that's about it thank you so much for joining take care bye